Hey there everyone, this is Cypher, going back to my playthrough of Veteran Odyssey 2. Today we are going to continue exploration of the Sixth Stratum. Okay, that fight kind of took ages. Even though we've done it before, it's because revenge isn't primed to instantly kill things. Okay, and from the south, of course, we have another fork, of which to probably lead to two different warps. Because that's always what we like to see. Got one over here, let's actually check what our other option is just before we go see if it's also a warp or if it's conveniently something like oh god what is that king cap um that is terrifying i've never seen one of those things ever that uh, don't like it but according to my conditionals list, it does have a conditional, but that's not what I expected it to look like. Conditional of killing it instantly. Um... Doshi's Viper Tornado. A grandiose evil eye and a snipe would do me a lot of good. Oh! That thing dies easily! Okay, I'm gonna need to find a different approach then. Hopefully he's not rare. That evil eye was for not, but, you know. Okay, so the guys are pretty fragile, so I need to find some other way to soften them up. Get gold spore probably from them. Well! <sighs> Thanks, game, for not giving me enough time to react, and I guess I just approached it too fast, but... Come on. Okay. Now, last time we fought this guy, we didn't get to see what he did. What he does. Um... So this time we're gonna definitely find out. Let's try that. See what he actually does, unless Kadoshis decides he wants to stun him again. Nope. Did a lot of damage to Anna, which is really convenient. Because that means now she can start spamming revenge. Guy doesn't have too much HP to call his own. Um I don't wanna waste too much more TP with Linda though. And he's not quite within climax range just yet. So I think we can just kill him by doing this. And it will work just the same. We won't get his conditional because we didn't arm his bind his arms, but you know. We got his normal con uh, his normal item for once, so that's good news. But otherwise, there's nothing here. It's just uh, that Aristarios fight. That's fine. It means we only have one warp to test. Brings us here. Um, let's just keep going. I can... I do have the memory of, a, like, a very good person. So I do know which warps correlate to where at the moment. And if I have some kind of catchy thing I can call this, uh, that would help. Let's go south first. Oh, it's about time we saw the Blood Man again. It's been a while. Uh, let's see. Kadoshis Viper Tornado is a good attack combo here. Revenge, take care of that guy. And Snipe to deal with the remainder of the Tornado Victim. Beautiful. Okay, that was very convenient, easy, and fast. All my favorite things in one. About time we saw the Blood Man again. I thought he only appeared at the beginning of the floor because of his rarity. Got a warp here. I'm gonna continue circling this to see if there's anything else that's here that I should be aware of. Perhaps it just does a weird circle and it. Hmm. My best guess is that there's another warp on the other side. They're on the edge of the left side. This looks like it goes up, though, so there's more places to go. I might have just... I could have accidentally just walked into the warp and completely screwed myself, probably, out of exploring the rest of this area. And... Turns up again over there... Nothing but wall down here. What's down here? 
and item points. Okay, we haven't seen any of these yet. Shop points? Sounds great. We'll, uh, get to harvesting it later. Uh, quad old crabs plus that guy set. And since we know he's a major target, we're just gonna go ahead and swing all that on him. Pour the evil eye and nah, the evil eye's not necessary to start revenging these guys one by one. And I think we'll be fine. Let's go up one of these hallways, see if there's any, like, warps or anything up- Oh! Oh, man! If I- if I just stop walking so fast, I can stop running into these guys. Sometimes, I just need to have an eye out. For right now, let us just get a usual setup occur occurring, and we should be fine. Uh, I don't feel like wasting TP on you, Mr. Guy, so you snipe instead. Tornado CAD, smash, multi-hit attack on the front row, pretty devastating, took out Linda, which is never any good. Uh, we're gonna smack this guy in the face with this, could we get, mm, didn't bring any regular nectars or anything, we'll just use the next ball to revival, reviver, it's not, I know it's wasteful, but you know, who cares. As long as Linda's alive, we'll be fine. And that will do him. And that will give us another one of his conditionals. And that will make this seem a lot less bad than it was. But I just- all I have to do is not step forward so fast and I won't get blindsided by this chump. Um, ah, that would put Anna back. Of course, that's always the bad thing about that. We're running a little low on TP, so we're gonna have to turn back soon, that's fine. That happens all the time. Grandiose. I'm fine with it, as long as... We're good, we got another warp up here, so that means we have another warp choice. Game seems to be a really big fan of giving me choices around, like... A fork that leads to another fork that leads to another... Thing, it's... It's, a uh, What this game does best. Let's get this guy... In a position where I can halt shot him. Right there is fine. Uh, then we can get a... Blindside on him. I have to freeze him again. Like so. But we can get behind him, get a preemptive on him. Greatly increase our chances of being able to beat him. And uh, we don't have another Dominate Prime, so not that that really matters. We're going to try using Arm Shot, but we're not going to rely on it. This is going to be our last fight here. And then I'm just going to take one warp, see where it takes us, and then we're going to come back. So, Viper, Tornado, Revenge, Arm Shots. No such luck with the Arm Bind. He's pretty much dead at this point. We're just going to let, uh, Climax take care of this. We have one last fight in us before we have to go. Got another one of his normal items, that's great. Let's see where this northern one takes us. Further north. Well, that makes sim that makes it really easy to fig uh, to tell me, myself, where this goes. Just draw an up arrow. Puts me at a two-way intersection. Let's go west first. Leads up to another warp. Warp maze! Uh, 101. Let's look at it, see if we have any other options. Ah, a treasure chest. So we don't have any other options, but we do have a treasure chest. And it gives a uh, just a regular Bravant. We can buy those. We've been able to buy those for quite a long time, but thank you, game. I like your courtesy be really easy to kill. I could have probably done the fight just the same by choosing one target on the left and attack, 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 that would have been boring though. And it wouldn't have been convenient and it would have taken forever. Let's see where this takes us. Um, Room on the far south. 
That's the best you got, game. Okay. Uh, since it's such a small room, I think I can call this to cylinder. That's not how, this is not how you spell cylinder, but... I know it's not how, probably not how you spell cylinder, but whatever helps me, helps me. So, let's... Okay, is this a genuine fork or what? Yeah, it's a genuine fork with warp at the left side, and I don't know about the right yet. I believe we've done this fight before. We're running out of TP, though. Okay. Now, don't really have enough time to figure out what's down the other dead end at the moment, which is sad. Let's see where this left one goes. Leads back to start. So that's another BTSO. Alright. Let's go ahead and walk back. So it won't take that long. And the encounter rate isn't too bad around here. So, we might run into a fight, but it's going to be easy if we do run into one. And it allows us to get out without having to use our warp wire. Let's quickly sell stuff. I'm going to end this off here. I'm going to continue on into, an, into a point two episode, and maybe point three, and then maybe point .4. Uh, this time I'm going to buy Nectars and a few uh, longevity tools. Getting quite a few equipment, though. I may want to check those stuff out before I go. Alright, let's check out the stuff it's giving us. Okay, that was unlocked for some reason. This is worthless. That's probably worthless as well. 34 tech 220 TP is good. Right now I'm using the Ducal Mark as a TP booster and an HP booster for Linda. Is that better than the fur boot, though? Yes, it is better than the fur bo boot by seven. Uh, by seven, it would lower her agility a little bit, but give her that tech and that TP and that little bit extra defense. Ooh, accessory. Nope, no new accessories. So just this holy helmet. Uh, angel helmets. Pardon me. But anyone else, it's useless. And I'm not going to worry about it then. Well, hey there, everyone. This has been point one of me exploring the rest of the 26th floor. Next time, uh, next time we're going to continue exploring the rest of the left side, then start on the right side, and so on and so forth until this floor is done, pretty much. See you guys in a second.